Hi guys, today I'm going to tell you how to care for a pet gerbil. For gerbil supplies, you will need some wooden toys such as this one which they can gnaw on whenever they feel like it. Although they do like to gnaw on this one and all their other toys. Because their teeth grow constantly throughout their lives. And you want to get some tubes such as this one which they can crawl through and a lot of the times you'll find they bury their tubes such as that one and there's one buried completely under there and this one's buried um, so it will act like an underground tunnel which they would naturally dig in the wild and because gerbils are desert creatures they don't drink much but and they don't sweat at all but you'll still have to change their food and water every day just to make sure they're really healthy Otherwise, it's very unhealthy for them to drink stale water and it can make them sick. Also, they'll need hiding places to hide in so that they feel secure. And if your gerbil is in these hiding places, don't stick your hand right in and then start trying to grab the gerbil, which probably you wouldn't do. But in case you felt like doing that, don't. Um, because that will make them feel that the place they're in isn't secure and then they'll get really nervous and anxious because there's nowhere that they'll feel properly secure and safe in. You also want to get toys such as this one and then you want to just have it in the cage so that your gerbils can crawl through it or hide in it or put maybe a toy inside it so that they can play in it. When your gerbils crawl through it and hide in it and maybe they sit there and eat something they'll feel safe and secure because they're being sheltered by the toy. Ok now I'm going to talk to you about bedding. For bedding you want to have either sawdust, wood shavings or sand and you can mix sand with a few drops of water, not too much water but a few drops every time you clean the cage. And don't use cedar pine shavings because the chemicals in them could be toxic to gerbils. Also you want to have two types of bedding for your gerbils. I use sawdust because it's almost as fine as sand but it is easy for them to dig through and sand really isn't which is why I have to mix water with it. And I also use this um, safe bedding. It's just called small pet safe bedding. Um, I think it's shredded paper or something like that. But don't use, don't cut up any newspaper or anything like that. If you really don't want to buy petting, um, bedding from a pet store, then you can provide your gerbils with paper towels or toilet tissue to shred up. They also like to chew toilet tubes, toilet paper tubes, the inside of a toilet roll, and you want to cut out the glue, any glue, with scissors, because that glue also could be harmful to your gerbil if they ingest it. You can also use hay for a nest that your gerbils will probably just shred up and then dump it into a big pile like this and then they'll hide in it and sleep in it together. And it's good that you buy two gerbils or more because if you don't buy two or more then this is John and his brother Jack is here. They will have no one to groom them or eat with or sleep with or play with because they'll be very very lonely and often gerbils who are alone they don't live as long and they're quite unhappy and they're very very hard to tame because they're very very unhappy and they could be aggressive towards you. You want to provide your gerbil with a couple of inches of bedding so maybe four or five or six or seven even inches of bedding so that they will have enough to dig through my gerbils are quite messy because I gave them a lot of bedding. They had about 7 inches, now they're down to about 5 inches because they dug so much and then it messed, there was a huge mess on the floor here, right by where I keep them. And then I hoovered today because the, it was just so messy. The gerbils will also probably want to have a wheel in their cage. With the wheels you want to make sure it's big enough so it doesn't bend their spine and also you want to make sure there are no holes in it which wire ones can have because 
the holes they could get their feet and tail stuck in them which is why it's much better to have a plastic one. If you have a wire cage for your gerbil, which I don't actually recommend, but if you do have a wire cage for your gerbils, then you've got to clean it weekly. But if you have a tank, you still got to clean it weekly. And if you have a small gerbilarium, you've got to clean it once every two weeks and if you have a large gerbilarium at least once every three weeks. I clean mine once every two weeks even though I have the large gerbilarium um, just to be on the safe side to, so that I do know that my gerbils aren't going to get sick. For food you can feed them regular gerbil food which is what I feed mine but be careful not to give them too much. Feed them about this much if you can see that's their food bowl and this is their treat bowl I put in a couple of treats in there every day for them to come and get you can feed them our sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds also you can feed them sun dried corn which I actually keep up here you can also feed them fresh apples or carrots or broccoli or lettuce on occasion, maybe once or twice a week. I feed it to them twice a week. You can also feed them whole grain bread, as long as it's organic and you know it's whole grain. They can eat stale bread too, but it's better for them to eat um, fresh bread. So, you can also feed them, well, this is a treat I have called Broccoli Heaven, which I just recently got. And they, so far, love it. These are the sunflower seeds which I feed them. Don't buy any spiced ones. One time I bought a pack of spiced ones. Then I realised it was spicy so I had to eat them because they weren't good for my gerbils. I've got a bag of pumpkin seeds here which are fine for them. And um, this is an apple stick. I keep my sweet corn and popcorn in here. And you can feed them some sun-dried corn if you get it from a pet shop. I got the popcorn from the pet shop and I also got the corn from the pet shop so I know it's safe for my gerbils to eat. Don't feed your gerbils anything like chocolate because that's poisonous to them. Alone gerbils will live maximum two years. Gerbils in pairs or groups will live two to four or even five years. The world's oldest gerbil I think lived to be about eight years old which is really, really old for a gerbil. So, my gerbils are both two years old and they're not showing any signs of sickness or um, signs that they might be dying or going up to heaven soon, which is great to know. And gerbils are overall fantastic pets. Right now they're quite sleepy. Gerbils are animals who sleep during the day and they sleep at night and they play during the day and they play at night so some nights are quite quiet and calm um, because I keep them in my bedroom along with my birds I keep in my bedroom um, some nights are awfully loud and quite sleepless what you can do to prevent um, too much noise. This won't. This method won't actually prevent all noise, but it will prevent a lot of noise that comes from your gerbil. Is you'll find that they will want to chew on a lot of things during the night. Um, so if you just take away the toys that you know they will be chewing on, such as the plastic tubes, like these two, or any kind of toy you know that they will want to chew on during the night, 